name is Mary Beth Braja, and I had ruined my gastric bypass surgery. When I got married, I was about 160 pounds, but I lost 20 pounds to fit into that wedding dress. Uh, when I quit smoking a year and a half later, I think I gained almost 40 pounds. I was 210 pounds when I got pregnant and never lost that weight afterwards and just found myself when she was a teenager at 200 and almost 90 pounds. I would go on a diet, but it would take so long to lose even five pounds. And I knew I needed to exercise. But by then, I was already having so many problems with my joints, especially my uh, ankles. I did make an appointment. He said, there is nothing wrong with your feet that losing about 100 pounds can't help. I, I woke up one day and I knew he was right. And I, I think I had recently, probably in the last year, seen a clip on some new show about weight loss surgery, but it was, ooh, you know, I didn't, when I was watching it, that I didn't need that. Quite frequently, patients are told in an orthopedic office, you know, you need to lose 100 pounds. And then fortunately, what we often find is if patients lose 80 or 100 pounds through our surgical program, they, in fact, oftentimes don't need to have surgery. Once I decided I wanted to have it, there was, where am I going to have it? that not anybody around here did it that I knew of. And then I just, I don't even remember how I heard it, but the hospital in my town had just opened up a practice where a young doctor was starting to do weight loss surgery. So I immediately called up and made an appointment and went to see him. Our patients have an average of about 15 visits in our office before they actually go through surgery, interacting with the nurse practitioners, the nurses, the dietitian. And about six weeks later, I went to the hospital to have weight loss surgery. About four years after my surgery, I uh, saw a picture of myself, and I had realized that I had put about 35 pounds back on so I went back to the basics. That 35 pounds fell off faster than it probably came on. I didn't realize how good I would feel afterwards. I wound up having the surgery because I saw how well she did by having the surgery and how she lost all the weight. I started having bad medical problems. For him, it was all, about, all for health reasons. Uh, I was on cholesterol medicine for years. He had started off on oral medications, and then one shot after a while, and then two, and then the long acting, and then the everyday meals. And uh, he was just tired, and he knew from being around me that my diabetes had been curbed. Sometimes I think about how it would have been had I not done this, and I was sitting in a mall one day and I noticed there were no really old, heavy people. I saw chubby babies, chubby toddlers, chubby children, plump teenagers, fat adolescents, obese adults. But as I started going up, I, I noticed I was waiting for that 80-year-old obese person to walk by, and it hit me. People don't live that long when they're morbidly obese. And I, I wanted to live a long time. So before I had weight loss surgery, I was very limited in what I could do. Now I walk probably two miles four or five days a week, and I know that I just have a different, healthier, more active life because of the surgery. We have uh, annual passes to the Biltmore, so we go up there quite a bit. We're now a whole lot healthier than we ever were, and I know that we'll be around for quite a while for our daughter. I was ignorant of how much it could help your health at the time, but now, I'm about to turn 59. It's all about the health. I have more energy. I can do more things. I do more things with my wife, which we can enjoy. The surgery 
is just a tool. It's not going to work if you don't do all the stuff you're supposed to do. I've maintained for 14 years, but I've had to work at it. It's worth everything I do.